Hi, this is Mrs. Bratcher, and in this video you guys are going to learn how to hotspot. First thing that you want to do is insert your image, either it's going to be a map or a baseball field, a blueprint, whatever it is. Make sure all images always have alt text. And then you want to hotspot it. So we're going to select certain areas of the picture, and when you click on those areas, it's going to take you to either another image, a website, or a video, something that has to do with that section of the image. Down here at the bottom, you'll see the word map, and these are your different hotspot buttons. You can choose square, circle, or you can make a unique shape using the polygonal hotspot tool. I'm going to choose circle for mine. Once you draw the circle or square, if it's not in the right place, you can simply go down here and grab the move tool, and you can adjust it or move it where you need. Um, once you've added that hotspot, you want to tell it what you want to link to. So if you want to link to a file, you're going to click on the folder, and you would search for the file at that moment, like another image file that you've saved. If you want to link it to a website, you're going to paste that link in. Just make sure that you include the HTTP in the beginning for it to work. You do have the option of adjusting the targets, so do you want it to open on a new tab? And of course, you always want to add alt text. We'll go ahead and save this and then preview it to see if it works. So here's the preview of my blueprint and when I hover over the Iron Man mask you'll notice that my cursor turns into a hand. When I click on that it pulls up an actual picture of that area of the blueprint. And If you notice mine opened up in an entirely new tab because that is how I set the target. And that is how you hotspot.